Hey everyone, it's me, Jody Sweeten, and I am so excited to be here with you today talking about The Jane Mysteries, Inheritance Lost, which is my new movie coming out this Friday, May 12th at 9, 8 central, only on Hallmark Movies and Mysteries, so you guys have to check that out. Uh, I'm really excited for this one. It's different than anything that I've ever done with Hallmark before. Um, it's It's mystery, there's suspense, there's all kinds of fun stuff. And I have a couple of questions that Hallmark Movies and Mysteries sent over to me to answer. So I am going to take some time with you guys today and read through these questions and give you some answers. <clears throat> let's begin. All right, let's see. Question number one. In the Jane Mysteries Inheritance Lost, my character Jane inherits her uncle's foundation that is a nonprofit detective agency. Can I share more about this new mystery and why the viewers will connect with this story? Well, <clears throat> one of the reasons that I loved uh, playing Jane was that she steps into a role where it's something that's very new for her. She doesn't quite know what she's doing, but she's willing to learn and she's willing to try and she does it because she wants to truly help people. And I related to that so much. You know, I'm always willing to take on new chances uh, to try and help people. And so I love this about Jane. And, you know, this mystery, when when she, when she Jane returns home, uh, she's been in Europe for a while. She has become a cabaret singer after losing her mom at a relatively uh, early age. Um, she was raised by her Aunt Sadie and her Uncle Harold. Uh, and they encouraged her to follow her dreams and become a singer, uh, which was very much in Aunt Sadie's footsteps. She was a singer as well. Um, so I've been off kind of living my life and um, avoiding coming home with some painful memories of mom. And my Uncle Harold passes away, so I have to come home and um, help Sadie kind of organize his affairs. And he had said in his will that he wants me to take over the foundation for him. So I am completely overwhelmed. I'm not sure what is going on. And I don't even know if I'm going to help. Um, and so, you know, this first mystery comes about. And um, I really connect with the young woman who is asking for me for help. Uh, Leah is also an aspiring musician and incredibly talented and has lost her mom at a young age, too. And so, um, you know. We'll see what happens, but it uh, it strikes a little something in Jane, and um, I think it's going to strike something in the audience, too. I think the audience is going to fall in love with these characters and see exactly why Jane jumps in and does what she does. Um, all right, let's see. Second question. <clears throat> Jane is quickly pulled into her first case, but Detective John, played by the wonderful Stephen Hazar, uh, is a bit skeptical that she has what it takes. How does their relationship dynamic evolve as they start to work together? Well, uh, as you can imagine, uh, someone going from being a singer to suddenly running a nonprofit detective agency, uh, you know, someone who is a detective for a living might question some of their abilities or perhaps their dedication. And... You know, one thing <clears throat> that Jane definitely is, is she is headstrong, she is determined, and she is super independent and wants to wants to prove herself, um, not only to people around her, but, but really to herself. And so as she really steps into that part of her personality, I think Detective John starts, you know, maybe wondering if, he hasn't slightly underestimated uh, Jane De Silva in thinking that she's just a singer. And, uh, you know, I, I, I love that because I, I think, you know, sometimes we do get underestimated uh, that we're just a something, you know, and uh, we have a little bit more to us. So I, I love bringing that to life for Jane. <clears throat> and uh, let's see. Jane has a personal connection to the case and shares a passion for performing with her client, Leah. And John is passionate about finding closure for families who need it. What qualities do I like about our characters? Well, I was sort of talking about that uh, with the last question, that Jane is uh, very determined and she doesn't take no for an answer. And even if something happens, she picks herself back up and she keeps going and she tries again and she tries something new and she tries it a different way. And, you know, even when she's scared and overwhelmed, she doesn't give up. She she takes a deep breath and she does it again. And I love that about her. You know, I think 
Uh, she is, she's a strong woman. She's a strong role model. She's curious. She's, um, you know, she's smart. She's determined, all these things. Uh, and I really loved that. I loved the strength that she had. I loved the fact that she had a very successful life that she loved. And the only thing that she would change that for is um, for something that she felt even more passionate about. And that passion of hers is really helping people. And, you know, that is why she really, despite Detective John being difficult sometimes and not always being very supportive, I think that what she sees in him is that he truly is fighting for these families and he's truly fighting for justice. And that's something that Jane believes in very much. So uh, I, I think they, they find that common ground, but all of the characters in this are so wonderful and interesting. And uh, oh, Aunt Sadie, I loved Aunt Sadie played by, um, by Paris Jefferson. Um, she was just fabulous and so warm and wonderful. Um, I think viewers are really gonna enjoy that relationship too. And, you know, seeing how Detective John and Jane start, uh, you know, trying to figure each other out and, and where they're going to go from here. Um, all right. Let's see. We have my character shows a knack for sleuthing and is also a talented singer. Was there a favorite musical number that I enjoyed performing? <clears throat> well, like a true singer with my hot tea. Um, <laughs> I I was really, really excited because I got to sing the opening song for the Jane Mysteries. Um, that is actually me singing. I recorded a song called Love is a Mystery. And, you know, when I first heard it, I thought, oh, this is going to stick in people's heads. It, I mean, it sticks in my head. I can hear it now. Um, it's this wonderful, fun, jazzy, vibey, cabaret sort of um uh like almost a 20s noir jazz feel to it i just i fell in love with the song and i really had fun with it um and you know getting to to record a song for the movie was exciting i love singing and i think people are really going to enjoy the theme song uh of this one and uh and hopefully it'll stick with them so i really that was my my favorite part of singing and then you know getting up on stage and really getting to perform it after just sitting in a studio and recording. It was fun to bring it to life. Uh, what else do we have? Okay, uh, there are a lot of thrilling moments in this movie. <clears throat> From Jane dressing up in different disguises to almost getting hit by a car without giving any spoilers, do I have a favorite scene I can't wait for the viewers to see? Hmm. Uh, you know what? I, I will say this. The end of the movie, stick around for the end, because Jane, Jane's kind of, she's, she's kind of a hero. I'm just saying, she's kind of awesome. She, she's pretty good. So, uh, I, I think people are going to love that last scene. We got to do some fun little stunts, um, <clears throat> which uh, was exciting and, uh, you know, it's always fun to challenge myself in new and different ways. And I've certainly never done any stunts in a Christmas movie up until now. So uh, this was a new experience for me. And um, yeah, the disguises, oh, this, it was so much fun. I mean, we got to play with, <clears throat> you know, with makeup and wigs and wardrobe. There's some amazing vintage wardrobe in there from our uh, costume department that was just so talented and so amazing and found the greatest things. Um, so I, I also am really excited for viewers to see all the various looks in this movie because Jane has some killer style. Uh, and a lot of those pieces, like I said, were fun vintage finds. So it was, uh, it was fun to dress up as Jane every day. <clears throat> and six, um, this is the first project that I'm starring in with Stephen Hazar. How was it working with the cast and any fun behind the scenes stories I can share? Oh my gosh. Stephen and I, I mean, we hit it off right from the beginning. We met and we just were chatting it up to the point where I think we met the first day we were there and we were doing all of our, our photo shoot stuff for the, for the movie. And he and I just got to talking and we were standing there talking so long that they finally had to come over and be like, okay, we, 
we actually need Stephen now to go and and do his his photo shoot part of it because we, we were just like we just clicked and so i absolutely love working with him he's so wonderful and so talented and um and in incredible shape i will say that um yeah uh i think i think there you know there's a clip floating around he's in there's a pool scene um and uh let's just say i am wearing a very long red wig and don't look anything like myself so it's it's a look all around um but i think i really think that people are gonna love the the chemistry and the dynamic and sort of the you know, there's, there's, it's not an easy friendship that's coming here between Detective John and Jane. They're both, they're both a little headstrong and I think, you know, we're going to lock horns at, at one point or another. Um, but it's both because, it, it, you know, it's, they are so passionate and so, um, and so wanting to help that they just want to make sure that they do it right. And uh, I, I love that about them. And Paris Jefferson, who played Aunt Sadie, she and I just connected in such a wonderful way. I really think people are going to fall in love with the warmth of this relationship and this dynamic. It is so sweet and so kind. Um, and it's just, it, it's a great um, relationship between these two women. Uh, and I, I, I love that too. Um, okay, as our characters get closer to solving the case, Dark secrets start to unravel from Linda's past as prime suspects start to emerge. Can I give a clue the viewers should be on the lookout for as they sleuth along while watching? <clears throat> well, so I'm not going to give you too big of a hint. <clears throat> not going to give you too big of a hint. All I'm saying is... Um... Hmm... Just, just maybe it like, like sleep on it. Just sleep on it, you know. Dream about some things. See what comes up. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Uh, and if you watch the Jane Mysteries Inherit and Solved, that will make a lot more sense. Um, so to wrap up my live chat, I have a guess the character game that I want to play with you guys, uh, with only a few clues. Let's see who it could be. Uh, so guess along with me in the comments. Okay. <clears throat> Here we go. Clues. I give Jane great accessories in helping her solve the case. I'm great with research and enjoy participating in a stakeout. Who am I? Mm, who do we think? And I've sort of alluded to it in some of my answers. All right, are you ready for the answer? Aunt Sadie, it is Aunt Sadie. She gives me some fabulous looks from her closet, which you have to see to believe. Uh, so yeah, Aunt Sadie is a wonderful help to Jane in these mysteries and helps keep her looking not only fashionably fashionable, but in disguise as well. <clears throat> All right, everyone. I am so happy that I got to join you to answer some questions about the Jane Mysteries Inheritance Lost movie. Uh, I'm really excited for everyone to see it. Uh, I think you're going to love it. I can't wait to hear the feedback. So make sure that you tune in to the Jane Mysteries Inheritance Lost this Friday, May 12th. That's Friday this time. So this Friday, May 12th at 9, 8 central only on Hallmark Movies and Mysteries. And if you want to tweet along, use the hashtag the Jane Mysteries, all one word. And uh, I can't wait to see what you all think.